So let's talk about subject twos. If we, we had to give our listeners a three to five step process let's to getting it. started, what would you consider that three to five step process to be? Okay. So step number one is don't spend any more money on ads, right? So, or, or advertising or, or, or marketing, everything that we do, it, it breaks down to this. So let's say I'm an existing wholesaler. Okay. The national average for a wholesaler across the, the, the country is one, this is average one in 50 leads becomes a contract. Okay. One in 50 leads. That means I've got a cold call. I've got a text message. I've got a do whatever is my form of marketing. And I get 50 people that say, yeah, I'd be interested in a cash offer. One of those 50 people becomes a contract. Okay. What happens with the other 49 is that you put them in a follow-up sequence and then maybe they become a contract later down the road. But more often than not, those other 49 people either wanted too much money, didn't have enough equity or better wholesaler who's more consistent at follow-up is going to get those contracts, right? So what we found is that when we started implementing creative finance to our existing lead flow, we still get that one wholesale deal, right? Out of 50. Um, but we also now get two creative finance deals out of that 50. So now I've tripled my conversion rate, right? And what we found is one of those is going to be a seller finance. And one of those is going to be a subject to, and the way that I decipher the difference between the two of those is number one, and I'll get back to the couple of steps. Seller finance is different than subject to, in the sense that subject to people have pain, right? They have pain. There's a problem you need to solve, right? might have no equity. They're getting divorced. It's very similar to a wholesale set of pain structure where it's like, you know, I can't afford to fix my house. I have problems with money. Seller finance is the exact opposite, yep. right? Um, it's the only thing you can do to solve their problem because in wholesale, you're looking for the pain. In seller finance, you're looking for the gain. So you go to a seller and you say, hey, yo, um, all these other people have come in here and offered you these low ball offers. I totally get it. You're not about that. How about this? I pay you full price, the ask, the asking price you've got, and we work out some sort of agreement where I pay you over time, right? Very simple. Don't bring up subject to seller finance. Don't bring up any of that stuff. And now you've converted three contracts, right? You've got three contracts out of that same 50 leads. So if that's if you're an existing wholesaler, the way that you do that, the way that you do that very simply without even having to understand subject to or seller finance or any of these things is you understand one thing. You understand guys like Jamel, guys like me, I will gobble up every subject to and seller finance deal you throw at me. So assign those deals to me, right? So a lot of people, they look at creative finance, they go, oh man, I, I'm not ready to hold properties yet. Perfect. Assign that subject to, assign that lease op option, assign that seller finance deal to me. I will buy that and I'll pay you a 10, 15, $20,000 assignment fee. I just bought and paid $29,000 on an assignment fee for a subject two deal in West Palm Beach. Guys, you can make just as much money on a no equity subject two assignment as you could on a wholesale deal. Absolutely. Preach, man. <laughs> right? And so I look at that and I go, and then people say, well, I want to master wholesale before I jump into creative finance. I'm like, what are you talking about? This wholesale is wholesale is wholesale. Right. right. So you go to a guy like Jamel and you say, Hey, bro, I got this seller. He has, they have no equity. Would you or somebody on your team help me talk to the seller guys all day long? That's the way to go. And we will do the conversations and you can hear and you can get that education that way. Right. So that would be a really easy step where it doesn't require you to spend any extra money. doesn't require you to make any extra effort. But the most important thing I would say is like, that's step one for existing wholesalers. If you've never done a deal before, this is an interesting conversation, okay? I have seen more people get their first deal from creative finance than I have seen people get their first deal from traditional cash offers. And the reason being is because we can pay whatever we want. I'm not saying, hey, we're paying over, over retail. I'm just saying I can pay 87 to 95 cents on the dollar if I really want to, depending on if the seller is giving me zero down or 0% interest on a seller finance deal or whatever. And I'm going to show you guys a couple of like um, properties we've just done here recently. Um, zero down deals, 0% interest, crazy good cash flowing deals. I'll give you guys the addresses. You can pull them up. It's good stuff. If I've never done a deal before, if I've never done a deal before, a smart thing for me to do is learn a little bit more about um, subject to and seller finance. 
call up other wholesalers and say, give me those 49 leads you couldn't convert. And I will convert those into a subject to our seller finance deal. And you never have to spend another dollar or ever start spending money on leads ever in your life.